Progress here, working a bit of a slowdown starting off the Glendale Boulevard in Santa Monica, westbound side of the 10, 4th Street to the McClure Tunnel, and Caltrain, of that is all lanes shut down until around 6 o'clock in the morning. You are seeing a jam that drive right as you approach the closure, you can take Ocean Boulevard to get around it. KFI in the sky helps get to there faster. I'm Robert Zucky. Contractor license 147781. Imagine running a marathon in the desert in the summer. And this marathon doesn't have a finish line. In this marathon, you run till you drop. It's called the air conditioner marathon. In places like Minneapolis or Portland, or any of them other places where it don't get real hot, air conditioners can last 20 years or more. But down here where birds burst into flames in midair and fall down funnel rockets from the skies, that, yeah, what are you doing? I'm helping people understand this ain't important. Here in the desert, air conditioners last about 11 years. But you don't have to spend money on a snowblower, or salt for that icy sidewalk, or windshield the icer for your car. Zach, I don't think they need any of those things in Portland. Did I say Portland? I meant to say Minneapolis. A new AC from Kettle will keep your home cooler and use a lot less energy. So if you think your AC might be about ready to go to air conditioner heaven, call Kettle. GOE TTL will keep you cool, but it's hard to stop. There are no limits to what we can do together. So let's keep rising, California. Get vaccinated and wear a mask so it can protect you and others. Your actions save lives. To learn more, visit COVID19.ca.gov. In 1775, the patriot Patrick Henry said, Give me liberty or give me death. Hello, I'm John McClellan, owner of River Hill Plumbing. Today, I feel it has become, Take my liberty, just keep me safe. My late father cherished the freedom our nation's founders fought for. Still, he would have gotten vaccinated just to be able to work long hours to provide for his family. He would have done whatever it takes, mandate or not. That's who my dad was. As we approach Labor Day, there are less people in the workplace. I feel for restaurant owners, mom and pop bakeries, venues, and retail stores who are struggling to stay open. At Ruder Hero, we are blessed to have men and women who will do whatever it takes to help you. Our team worked through all of 2020, and they are here for you in 2021. It's your trust in us that keeps Ruder Hero plumbing going. Thank you. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk.
Not as long as you were playing music associated with superheroes. Had to grab that one from Guardians of the Galaxy. Two great soundtrack albums, by the way. Um, it's kind of toss up between that one and and the Redbone tune. Right, come and get your love, come and get your love. Uh, but I do love the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, where they're doing Mr. Blue Sky, and uh, Baby Groot, <laughs> fighting, fighting while they're all taking on whatever that interdimensional beast is. But, gosh, maybe that's what happened here, too, was some interdimensional beast came in and disrupted us last hour for a few minutes. That's kind of further proof that this is live radio, and it's on seven nights a week. Um, thanks to all of the good people that helped put it on, and of course, George Norrie is our leader. If you go to coasttocoastam.com and you, you're not feeling like you're getting enough George, uh, you know, remember Beyond Belief gives you a free episode from George Norrie's online TV show. You can sign up for just 99 cents for the first month, beyondbelief.com, and get hours and hours of fascinating past shows as well. And click on to all of our various sponsors that are online at coasttocoastam.com. Coming up tomorrow night, David Dismalchin. Uh, he's in a bunch of different superhero movies. Of course, he's in, uh, he's in Dark Knight Rising. No, Dark Knight, I can't remember. Not Batman Begins, not Dark Knight, but whatever. It's the one with the Joker. Uh, and, uh, and then he's in Ant-Man uh, as, uh, as, Kurt, as Kurt Babayaga. Uh, and uh, and now as a polka dot man in Suicide Squad. Not to mention Gotham, the TV show, and the guys are where he was a great villain in that. Uh, and then uh, the main guest tomorrow night is American Phoenix, Heroes of the Pentagon on 9-11. That's tomorrow night on Coast to Coast. Um, we'll get to your open lines. It doesn't have to be because you're a superhero, but gosh, it's been fun to find out more about next on Coast to Coast AM. This is Ian Potter. Real people, real things. I coughed, and I coughed until I choked 24 hours a day. I couldn't even walk across my floor without literally coughing until I was gas. So I saw three different pulmonologists, and they could do nothing. Someone had mentioned to me about a product that President Reagan has taken. I ordered it within one week. One week. My coughing had stopped since I've taken the carnivore. Everyone that would come into our store would say, what happened? Why are you not coughing? I told them what I'm doing. And they said, well, what's it doing then? Stop that coughing. I said, I can't answer that. It just stopped it. George here, and yet another happy ending from Carnivora. I've said it before, Carnivora has been now with us for just about 10 years, very successfully. Carnivora is 100% from nature and contains 17 naturally occurring compounds that are non-toxic to every normal cell in the body, act synergistically to heal, and will attack abnormal cells only. You heard that right. Carnivora will attack abnormal cells only. Try it and you'll see for yourself. Call 1-866-836-8735. That's 1-866-836-8735. Or visit carnivora.com. C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. Sometimes the world can seem a cold place, so we got to bring a warmth to it. Sometimes the world can seem a broken place, so we got to strive to fix it. At the end of the day, we are empowered to create the world we want to live in. So we prepare for the worst. But we must always, always expect the best. Smith & Wesson, empowering Americans. Don't know who to go with first. Let's go with the guy who called back, got knocked off. Nolan in Texas on a wild card line on Coast to Coast AM. Nolan? Yes, sir. Uh, I have a rant. 
And me and my son go out to ranch. We go out in the back pasture and we see life in the barns and I can't explain it. Well, tell me what you mean by that. Um, I can tell you, we got horses, we got cattle, and I'll be on the back of my truck and my son will say stop. And I promise you, we see life in the sky that I can't explain. Yeah, but I'm going to give you a description of that. What does that mean? Okay, well, we'll see a big bright light, and then it'll sit there, and then it'll go away within a second. And then come back. And then come back, and then it'll go away. And I got video of it. And oh, cool. I can tell you, I I am a religious man, and I don't believe in UFOs and all that. But I can tell you, being out there in the back pasture where we're at, my son had told me, he goes, Dad, there's something going on. And he's seen it with his own eyes. I've seen it with my own eyes. And I can tell you, and it's dark. There's nothing out there. Yeah, yeah, I should hope that there's, you know, getting on the And, 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 and I can tell you, out here in Bulberti, it's dark. I mean, this is... Yeah. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Boys. And I can tell you, you look at the, you look at the sign, and when you see something like that, you wonder what's going on. Well, let me ask you a question. So, first of all, I don't think seeing something like that is a challenge to faith, or that to being a person of faith or a religious man, as you say, means that you, you can't observe something which is observable and repeated. So, I mean, I, 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 you're seeing what you're seeing. You don't know yet what it means. You don't know. It, it's an unexplained light, but it's not like you've seen a craft. You're not seeing people climbing in and out of anything. What's the most... Um, what's the feeling you get when you look at it? I'm always curious about that question. What do you feel? When I see something like that, let me tell you the truth, I actually think maybe it's an angel. Maybe it's something looking over the ranch, because right now there's a big family feud going over the ranch. And when I see that, I think maybe it's... Um, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, mean, I want to get past the think. I want to get, past, I want to get to the feel. What happens to your body if you're to be in touch with your heart rate or oh, a tightness in your chest? What do you feel when you see that light? My heart starts beating and okay. because I know it's out of my control and my right. heart starts beating. My son, heart, and he's like, Dad, 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 he gets over excited and we, we both get anxious. Very, okay. very that, this is what I'm getting at. So do you feel like, as you're looking at it, do you, are you experiencing yeah. a kind of, you know, fight or flight response? Or do you feel attracted to it like, here's something beautiful that's coming to protect us? I feel attracted to it, and I want to know what it is. Okay. All right, well, that's interesting. Appreciate that. And the, the dark sky gives you good video, so, yeah, you, you, there's lots of ways to send something like that to uh, our website. Tell us you need you. Everybody is sleeping. We'd love to feature a Oh, you understand it? I don't know what that was radio. Turn off radio. Turn off your camera. No, 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 no. We are sleeping. No. What means no? You look, it's a four time. It's four forty-five. Oh no 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 no. What are you doing? Do you know sleeping is important? Turn off. 